Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're wondering by the title of this video, I'm wanting to start a segment here on my YouTube channel called What the Hell Am I Doing? Once a week on Fridays, I want to post a video explaining how to use a different product, what it's for, how you can apply it, and tip, just tips and tricks, and some of my favorite products. So it's basically going to start out primer, foundation, concealer, the way that I would put on my makeup is how I'm going to go. I'm going to post a video here and then I'm also posting a blog post up on my website going more into depth of the products and my reviews on them, going into a little bit more detail like on how to apply them, what you can use to apply them. Today I'm starting out with primer and most of you do know what a primer is but I've had a lot of questions asking me what a primer is, what it's used for. So basically a primer is a base for your face when applying your makeup. After you wash your face and you moisturize and do your skincare and everything, the primer is usually your first step into applying your makeup. Before I put my foundation on, I'm going to take a primer and I usually squeeze it into the palm of my hands, just probably about a dime size amount. And then I rub my hands together and I apply it to my face starting at the very top and working my way down and down my neck. And you only want to apply a thin layer. You don't want to apply too much because it could have the reverse effect on what you want it to do. So basically with a primer, you want a primer to help keep your makeup on longer. There are also different kinds of primers, just like there are different kinds of foundations and stuff. They have some primers that fill in your pores, some that moisturize your face, some that take all the oils out of your face completely, some that are anti-shine, some that are like combo skin, meaning it doesn't make you too oily, doesn't make you too dry it's just right there in the middle so depending on your person the person that you are and how you like your makeup and what you like it to look like depends on the kind of primer that you would use some people prefer to go more expensive some people prefer to go less expensive but in my honest opinion it doesn't matter how much it is cheaper doesn't always mean that it's going to be worse and more expensive doesn't always mean it's going to be better it all depends on how you like your skin to feel so basically I have oily skin, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to go and find a primer that makes my face completely matte because I don't like that. I like my face to have a little glow to it. I like it to feel um, moisturized. I don't like it to feel like there's a lot of makeup on, even though like really caking it on. I want it to look like it's not caked on. I don't want it to look flaky. I don't want it to look overly oily, which is a problem that I do have a lot. You can also apply it with like a regular foundation brush or any way that you want. I just prefer to use my hands just to go in and but I always make sure that my hands are clean before applying my makeup. And I always make sure that my face is newly washed and moisturized before I put on my primer. If there's one thing like in my whole makeup collection that I really test out, it would have to be primers. I have so many of them. It seems that my collection on primers keeps growing and growing because I'm constantly testing out different primers to see which one works best with my skin type, which one feels best to me, which one makes me feel like my face isn't completely caked on or too oily. You would decide on what kind of primer you would use depending on what you feel like you would like your makeup to look like and feel like. For me personally, I use uh, a pore filling primer on my cheeks because I do have larger pores and on the rest of my face where it tends to get a little drier and right here on my nose, I use a moisturizing primer. So I do mix, which is completely okay. It's okay to mix your primers. So it's all about testing it out and seeing which one works best for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you a couple of my favorites and where you can get them from and the prices. But there are so many primers out there. You can find so many different primers from anywhere. You can go to makeup stores. You can go to the drugstore like Walmart and everything and you can find so many primers. My first favorite that I'm going to talk about is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm for sensitive skin. And yes, it is a shave balm. But... If you watch YouTube, you've heard everybody and their mother talk about this one product right here. You can find it from the drugstore. Um, it comes in a glass bottle and it costs, and the cost is only about five, six, seven dollars, depending on where you can get it from. Now, I also know that you can get it from Amazon.com if you're not one to go into a store and buy makeup you can get it on Amazon. So the next one I'm gonna talk about is a more expensive primer. It is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. This is a $30 primer, and it is by far the only primer that I have ever used completely up. Like its name, it is for your pores. It does fill in your pores. It makes them look pretty much non-existent. This is my favorite primer. I do have to repurchase 
a new one because I have completely used it all. The next one I'm going to talk about is a more moisturizing one, which is, it is the Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. Like I said, this is the one that you would want to use if you want your face to be more moisturized. And the price of this one is $32. Um, but this is the one that I really use. Like Lately I've been testing out the Nivea Shave Balm one. But this is my pretty much go-to for moisturizing. I think that it's really good. I think it helps keep my makeup on for a really long time. Um, it doesn't leave me overly oily when I am on my oily days. So that is a really big plus for me. So I want to talk about one, but I don't have it with me because I actually just gave it away. The Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser is by far my favorite drugstore primer. It's, I think, $3.99. But when I was looking online, I saw that it's a lot more expensive at different places. I personally paid $3.99 for mine, but I've seen it go up to $7. But I think by far it is my favorite drugstore primer that I've ever used. Um, I've been using it for almost two years now. It was the first primer that I got from the drugstore. But I think it's really good. I think it's really cheap. You can go in anywhere that you can find makeup and get it. Anywhere that sells Maybelline makeup. So if you're looking for a cheap one just to try out to see if you like it, I would suggest either that one or the Nivea Shave Balm. The next one that I've been using a lot lately is the Benefit Porefessional. Um, this is, I think, I don't know if you can get it Ulta or Sephora, but my grandma gave me two of these and I've been using it and I've never, besides the Too Faced one, I've never had one completely like fill in my pores like it has been. Um, I mean, obviously you can still see them because they are that big but it did a really good job today covering up my pores and everything, so I'm really happy with it. I've been using it a lot lately, so if you're looking for a good one at like Sephora or wherever they sell this, I would recommend getting the Benefit Professional. I think it's really good. So the next one I wanna talk about is a mattifying primer. So this primer takes my face and it like sucks it up completely. It just makes it completely matte and it tightens it, like tightens the shit out of it really bad. Um, but it, it's not that bad. The only thing that I have a problem with with this primer, it's when I'm trying to put like my foundation on or something, I see like it crumbles off and I really do not like that whatsoever. So there are so many primers out there, so many primers for different skin types and like I said before, it's all gonna depend on what you like and how you like it. I would suggest going in and testing primers out. If you do go to Sephora, they can give you little samples. So I would just suggest going in there, talking to somebody, telling them your skin type, like, and if you don't know it, they'll ask you some questions, you know, find out what is gonna be best for you, and then give you a couple samples of different primers so you can go home and test them. Yeah, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know how you you think that you're going to like this new segment that I want to do. Next week, I am going to be doing a video on foundation, explaining like different ways to apply foundation, different kinds for different skin types. The same thing that I did before, just continue on. You can find me going more into depth about this stuff on my website, which is just www.inthemomentwithtiffany.com. And I, and I do have a blog post going up the same day that this is going up, going more into depth about what I like about these primers and how to apply them and different primers for different skin types. So you can go ahead and check that out too. Um, if you are not subscribed already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!